Hi everyone, this is Jason Begler and I'm really excited today to talk about Unlimited Confidence, the home study course, my home study course. Unlimited Confidence smashes the fear of mental illness. Now this is everything, everything that I've learned since 2001 even before that really, Any, everything I learned from 1992, from being diagnosed with manic depression from the age of 19, 19, uh, 17 in 1992, to the present day, so that is a long, long time, that's two decades of coming to terms with manic depression, overcoming it, conquering it. And this home study course that I've created has been 11 years in the making with all my knowledge in publishing. And the great thing about it is that it, it smashes the fear of any mental illness. So it's not just bipolar or autism or Asperger's or schizophrenia or OCD or body dysmorphic disorder or anorexia or coffee syndrome disorder or social network disorder, whatever it's called these days. It's the full package, everything that I've everything that I've ever learned to revealed to help anyone as long as they can go through the exercises, commit to going through the exercises and implementing them. And it also includes all the personal development knowledge that I've developed over the years. So, all my interests in neuro-linguistic programming, my techniques I've learned from all the books I've read. So, this might be looking at any kind of business books, motivational books, personal development books. I'm talking people like, let's give some examples, Richard Bandler, Paul McKenna, Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, Brian Tracy, Zig Ziglar, Daniel Goleman, Robert Kiyosaki, it's endless Harv Eker, hundreds and Peter Thompson, Jonathan Jay, hundreds and hundreds of people, many of them in the US, most of them in the US, some of them from the UK and in other countries as well. And it's really about taking the reader on a journey where you commit yourself to saying that you've, you've had enough, you want unlimited confidence. Well, it's broken down into nine or ten different parts because the tenth part is kind of a special part and there's all, all these different strategies that if you go through the exercises, you can, you can push yourself, take yourself out of your comfort zone, and instead of living the life where you're dreaming about maybe getting better one day from mental, mental illness, or you've kind of come to terms with it, but you're on benefits, or you kind of have a life where it's a half life, you're kind of on the medication and kind of stable but not really doing anything and you might be sleeping during the day or find it really hard to get motivated, you might be quite socially excluded, you might not have many friends or you might even be at work and, and doing reasonably well but you find that your life is somehow unbalanced in some way. So. It might be that you think about work too much, but then you find it difficult to relate to friends or family and other people in your life, or you're, you might not have a healthy mind, body, and soul. You might have one of the three. So you might have a healthy mind, and you're quite proud of that, and you feel like you're battling that well. But really, you've you might have no potential 
no idea what the potential of your mind is if your body isn't fit. And if, you're, if you've got both of those, but you're not happy with your soul, you're not happy in your relationships and your heart, then that is an unfulfilled life. So it's really about tackling the different issues that, that we all come up with in life, particularly people with mental illness. And looking at ways, strategies that we can inspire ourselves every day. So some of the things you'll learn are just fantastic strategies to help you wake up happy every day and motivated it's just little exercises you can do when you wake up to make your day much better and make you more driven than you would have been otherwise make you more confident than you would have been otherwise it's really endless the opportunities that can that can arise from this kind of real focus on your own personal development and it's tough the course is tough so if you choose to do this course and go for it please be one of the people who completes it and goes 100 percent at it throughout and really commit to yourself to doing it and, and implementing it and i promise you if you do that and continue to do that, you'll, you really will have a, a paradigm shift in your life. You will, re really will see your life improve, I promise you that. Remember, I've been in places, I've been in really dark places. I've spent, oh, I spent over a year in psychiatric wards and two years suicidal. And that was over a decade ago now. I'll never let myself go back to the, that kind of position. I came off the medication completely in 2005 and that was in liaison with my psychiatrist I may add um, but if you pick up these strategies and commit yourself to all the different exercises then I don't want to give too much away because it's it's really it really is exciting and and challenging let me give you an example uh, in, in life we have to push ourselves every day, we, we, we choose to, I don't really feel like we stay still in life, I feel like each, each day is an opportunity to grow, to develop as a person, or to kind of lose our potential. So each day is an opportunity to grow, to stretch our boundaries, or to shrink. To stay in our comfort zone really is to shrink. and. Sure, everyone has days when they're in their comfort zone and not pushing themselves. Although, does someone like Richard Branson, does he ever have a comfort zone or does that guy push himself all the time? Something that we might all want to consider. I know hearing him speaking in person is a very powerful man in the sense that he's so driven and committed and commits to action more than most people I can think of. It's like Steve Jobs had a vision for Apple in the 1980s that it would change the world and in the way of in the forms of communication in different technologies and that's exactly what Apple's done. So I really see that this unlimited confidence smashes the fear of mental illness it's for people with mental illness who want to do something about it and to, who want to take their lives to the next level. It really is about that. Also, it is for mental health managers, people who work with people who, with mental illness, who want to understand not necessarily just how their clients get better, because that's one kind of outcome of it but working with pe people with with mental illness mental health experiences conditions or whatever we want to call them can be very very stressful because it can get if you're not very careful it can get you into a negative mindset where you listen to this little voice in your head of you know every now and then people say oh, i can't get better i'm not understanding you know don't feel well don't feel well and you have to really push yourself out of your comfort zone so this really is a product as well for 
people who work with people in mental health, men so it might be people who manage people with mental illness in care homes, mental health nurses, psychiatrists, psychologists, psychotherapists, NLP trainers, coaches, mental health consultants, all these kinds of things. Because if you, these kinds of people, the more they can push their own confidence, and the more, the more they can push away their fear of mental illness, they might have gone into it because they have one themselves, or the fear of their clients, the better outcomes that they're, they're going to have, and the more balance that they have in their lives as well, which is hugely important. Because when you're working with people with mental illness, you want to be in a peak state, and that is so important. And if you have a mental illness, then the reason why you have a mental illness really and even you're still suffering from it is because you're not in a peak state enough of the time and you're not in a state of flow enough of the time either now what what is being in a peak state well that's really when your your physiology is up and it's strong you're doing lots of exercise you're eating healthily your relationships are good and your mind is you know what you want in life and you know how to get it and you're actually doing it, something about it, achieving it. And sure, you, have, you make mistakes every day and, and people go up and down every day, but the idea is never to give in and to keep pushing yourself and to pushing your boundaries so you can become more and more successful. Or even Not even like you're aiming to be successful, but you feel successful in the now, in that, in that moment. And I think that's a really important thing. That's something I learned from Ted Nicholas once said, uh, he heard something like that when he was a teenager, that not to aim to be a success, but to see yourself as a success. And he's one of the world's greatest marketeers, probably the greatest world's marketeer. It's a really good example. So, what I'm talk talking about with unlimited confidence smashes the fear of mental illness is this is a product that I've, always wanted to develop and it's taken me over a decade to develop because it's highly complex to see how we can really push our own boundaries push ourselves so we, so that we can become so confident that the mental illness disappears and that's really what it's about because when when we're diagnosed with a mental illness, it's a life sentence. It's okay, okay, here's a diagnosis that might help you understand yourself some more or give you a path so you can begin your recovery, understand yourself or your place in the world or what went wrong or give some empathy with people around you and things like that. But it's a life sentence, so you spend your whole life kind of <clears throat> with this hidden unconscious guilt for having a mental illness and being so for, therefore inferior to other people which I believe is wrong and I could argue day and night about how mental illness is a social construct and it's something that society needs to tell crazy people that they have something or call them crazy because otherwise there would be anarchy and all this kind of thing but that really doesn't get us anywhere I don't think in reality because we have to deal with this label that we have for life. Now what can you do with this label? You can, you can accept it and let it smother you and let it tear the, tear the world from underneath you or you can say okay hang on a minute so I understand that, I recognise that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push myself, make myself so confident that it never ever affects me and therefore I will use these experiences to my advantage. But if it goes even further if you really push, push yourself so you're so confident when you wake up every day, I'm talking about very powerful strategies where you break the fear of 
procrastination and inactivity and other strategies where you're so pumped up in your conscious mind that and by doing certain exercises that you release you you unleash the or awaken the huge huge potential of your superconscious mind your unconscious mind your superconscious mind your meta mind your mega mind whatever you want to call it your other than conscious mind and it's so exciting it really really is can you imagine having having the power within you having right within your physiology within your heart within your mind your body your soul of every day feeling so confident that you know that you can really push yourself you know, why don't you imagine a time now when you felt super, super confident? Just close your eyes for a minute and imagine a time when you felt amazing, amazingly com confident. Feel what it felt like. See what you see, what you saw. Hear, hear what you heard. Imagine a time when you just felt so good. That's it, close your eyes, keep your eyes closed. Ima imagine a time when you just felt so good. Get back to that feeling. Just make that feeling bigger and bigger. Make that feeling so powerful. Enjoy that feeling so much like it was yesterday and just magnify the feeling. Increase the feeling by 10 times, make it 10 times better. Make it 25 times more powerful, make it 100 times more powerful. Make that feeling so powerful, a thousand times more powerful, a million times more powerful. Just really, really push that feeling so much. Make the image just bigger and bigger and bigger. See where the image is coming from. That's it, is it in color, is it in black and white? Can you hear anything? What are the sounds, what are the, ang what are the angles like? Put your thumb and finger together and squeeze your thumb and finger. Squeeze your thumb and all your fingers together. Clench your wrists, clench your feet, clench your ankles, clench your knees, clench your whole body. Clench your head, clench your calves, and just keep your eyes closed and just feel that amazing feeling. I'm talking about the best feeling that you've ever had. It might be something that you've achieved. It might be something that you felt about the world, about someone in your family, about your child being born, you know, a mega feeling. Okay. Open your eyes. Now, how do you feel now? You must feel, must feel pretty good. Look, it's blue sky. So, imagine having that there with you all the time. Now that's just a little bit, a little bit of NLP with a bit of mental health impairment thrown in. But through the unlimited confidence, smashes the fear of mental illness, home study course. There's going to be so many things that you can learn. I'm talking about finding the most inspiring people in the world in. Who are the greatest? I mean, have a think now. Who are the greatest 10 minds in the world? Einstein, um, Newton, 
Hamilton, Thomas Edison. You can go throughout in history because who are the greatest sportsmen of all time? Muhammad Ali. Pele. Roger Federer, Jack Nicholas. You have the greatest souls, the Dalai Lama, Buddha, Jesus. What's your life like on every day? Think of think of who you hang around with every day. What do you do every day? Who is your peer group? What kind of people do you surround yourself by? Now most of you straight away will be thinking oh, I've got so many friends I work in such and such a place I every now and then I, I do this I go and play football or I've got a hobby or whatever it is or, I, or I'm even part of the church or live in this community or whatever what I'm talking about is looking at having a mastermind group in your mind. This is a bit like Think and Grow Rich Napoleon Hill. But I have my own unlimited confidence strategy specifically for you. It is very, very detailed as well. With the exercises, you get to write them down, you get to learn them, you get to memorise them. So, what I'm saying is that you can really have the kind of life, whatever life that you want, and where you focus on is where you end up and your peer group is really important as well so when I set my goals out every day then I'm really talking about and spending my time with people that some of them I've never met but I'm listening to them on I'm driving in the car or I'm reading about them or I'm watching them on YouTube and funny thing is the more I seem to do that the more I end up seeming in some way to connect with them and actually meeting them and things like that as well which is which is great as well I'm so excited about you doing this course because you can really push yourself to a a new level of mental well-being that isn't available in the mental health movement. It just doesn't exist. And if anyone has a model in the mental health movement, mental health charities, mental health sector, contact me. Come, come to me and I'll publish you and, and look at it and see if I can help you develop your model and turn that into your own home study course. But I absolutely guarantee that if you if you take this home study course and implement the strategies, you will s smash your mental illness into smithereens, and it will no longer be a problem for you. And that's just such a great, great feeling knowing because I've done it myself and I, I've helped so many other people achieve this without doing this home study course, just by reading A Can of Madness or being published or, you know, having a conversation with me or just giving them an opportunity to have a voice and then the doors open and then pe some people walk through them better than others. There's no doubt about that. So what's really exciting about all of this is that no matter what state that you're in now, no matter what state they're in now, 
you have the potential to lift yourself out of it and take yourself to a place of unlimited confidence where you can smash the, the fear of your mental illness. And that's it, that is the home study course and it's available and I really suggest that you that you go out and get it. Now the paperback format it's in colour paperback in A4, you've got plenty of space to do all your exercises. It's £297. And really, I think I should be selling this product at about £997. It's just so so valuable. And you do that you do this the exercise in this and you'll you it does. This is why it's called Smashes the Fear of Mental Illness. It can totally save your life and give you the life that you've always dreamed of. Can you imagine being in a situation where you've just passed away and you're up in heaven, you think, wow, this is nice. And then you meet an alien and he goes, hi, what's your, what's your name? Oh, hi, my name's Jason. What did you do to get here? Well, um, you know, just, just arrived, you know? Okay, so what planet are you from? Oh, I'm from Earth. Earth, wow, great place, great place. Great place, that's really good, yeah. And what did you do on your Earth? What was your contribution? Um, what do you mean? Well, how many people's lives did you impact? What contribution did you make while you were there? How were you remembered by? What are you re referred to? How do people know your name? What I'm saying is, imagine... We all have dreams... When we're younger, we all have dreams of where we want to be and where we want to end up. And as we get older, most of us, we will, as we get older, we lose that ambition and we lose that dreams and we get stuck in a, in a kind of a status quo. Some of us, you know, a lot of us get stuck in a rut and we give up on our dreams. Now, whatever age you are, if you're 18 years old, 25, 35, 65, 75, you do this course we give you so much confidence, so much impetus, so much momentum that you can push yourself to a higher level that you've never imagined. Now, imagine getting to the end of your life before you die, just before you die, and you, you know, the moment of the moment of death where we pass on or whatever it is, whatever you believe in. Um, now, imagine you, you come face to face with yourself. Imagine, you, you better hope that the person that you come face to face with is the person that you want to become. Oh no, not the person you want to become. What I'm talking about here is Imagine coming to face, face to face with the person that what you don't want to do is to come face to face with the person you want to become. You want to look yourself smack in the mirror and that's the person you, you be, have become is the person you wanted to become. Okay? I'm getting so excited about this. Okay, so, so what I'm saying is that take the decision, take the action to just just go with it. Just Just really, really go for this this um you know there's a real incentive here to just to, just 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 to break through and to make your life better than than you've even ever imagined you know right at the back you might have a recall in your mind oh i wanted that life i'd really love a life like that well this is the opportunity this is the opportunity to do it. i'm promising you push yourself make the decision only 297 pounds for the the home study course paperback a4 it's incredible. It will blow your mind. It will. It can save your life. It can make you the person you've always wanted to be. And that goes as well. It will increase your potential for working with people with mental illness. And as a carer, you can even get inside as well. So you can become a better carer. So you can even, you know, any service user, they have to do it for themselves. You have to, you have to, it's okay reading about stuff, but you have to implement the strategies this is what I'm saying to you, implement the strategies. So, 
Um, go to chipmunker.com, C-H-I-P-M-U-N-K-A.com. Find the shop, okay? Go to the seminar page if you want to go to a seminar on it, when we launch seminar on, on these. And there's DVD products, CD products as well, in different audio formats. And find the home study course section. Bang. Okay, love you lots. Take care. And look out for the link. We'll be putting a link on at, uh, this this video as well and at, at the bottom. So love you lots. Take care. This is Jason o over and out. Whatever you decide to do, look after yourself, your own mental health and each other. And unlimited confidence smashes the fear of mental illness. Take care, everyone.